Hello everyone, I'm Jessica and today we're here for my stats of my TBR takedown for the month of April. If you're new here, and there's a good chance you are because I gained 97 followers in the month of April. Hello everyone, how are you? It's amazing that you're here. I hope you're enjoying your time here. I am amazed. I have no idea what happened with the algorithm, but I am not upset about it. Thank you all, if you're new, for subscribing. Love you. So as I was saying, if you're new here, the TBR Takedown is one of my TBR games that I am playing in order to get down my ridiculous TBR shelves. At the beginning of the year, I had 240 books on my shelves that needed to be read. And I'm trying to get that number down to 113. I was going for half because I had 226 books and then I found more. So it ended up being 240 and I kept the number at 113, okay? Let's move on. So my starting number for the month of April was 96. No, I haven't read that many books already, just I've unhauled some books already. So let's get to my haul for the month. I haven't been filming hauls. I have just been basically showing the books that I've been hauling in this video, and I think I'm gonna continue doing that as long as I'm not buying an exorbitant amount of books, which I shouldn't be because I'm trying not to buy a bunch of books. I do have four this month. They're all new releases, which I can live with. The first is Heirs of Fate by Amar Luciano. This is a collection of three novellas. They are Bride of Dreams, Huntress, and the Nightingale, and Storm Mistress. And I don't know a lot about these, but it basically was being touted by Bethany at Beautifully Bookish Bethany. And we have uh, very similar reading tastes, and I looked up kind of just the description of what the books were about, and they just sounded really interesting, plus that cover art, oh my gosh. So I definitely wanted to pick this one up. Look, it's bulk filming day. The video, the books from the last video are still hanging out. Look at that. Next is The Devouring Grey by Christine Lynn Herman. I vaguely remember that this book takes place in a city where the woods have this power called the Devouring Grey, that there are founding families that have the power to fight back to keep it from destroying the families that live there, and a new girl moves to town and she has that power, and I don't really know what else other than that. And then I have Princess and Fangirl by Ashley Poston. This is a companion novel to Geekerella, which I didn't necessarily love, but I really enjoyed the con part of it, and I have been told that this entire book take place, takes place at a con and that I should like it. Because of that aspect, um, this follows two girls who look similar and trade places. Why not? And the last purchase for this month is an obvious purchase and it is The Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassie Clare and Wesley Chu. This is the first book and The Eldest Curses. I believe it's going to be a trilogy. Who knows with Cassie? Not me. I can't keep up with that girl. This series follows Magnus and Alec and takes place in between the time periods of the mortal instruments and the dark artifices. And if I'm laughing more than you think I should be about that, it's because it took me like 23 tries to get the proper characters and the proper series out of my mouth. <laughs> So that put me at 100, and then I had my reads for the month, which, spoiler alert, are up there a little bit, and we will go through those very quickly. I will not be giving a full description or wrap-up or whatever. I did a full wrap-up video, and I will link it in the description box below as well as in the cards. Once it's up, I don't know if it's going up before or after this. Who knows? Not me. But it'll be there eventually for you to see. I read The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson, Starfall by Melissa Landers, which Volume 4, Narissa's Revenge, The Red Pyramid by Rick Meriden, this is the first book in the Kane Chronicles, and Aragon by Christopher Paolini, this is the first book in the Inheritance Cycle. And then I have a DNF and an unhaul. My DNF for the month was The Wrath and the Dawn by Rene Adier. I have a lot of feelings about this. Um, I will, again, it's in the wrap-up video. My wrap-up video took 20 minutes to film and 11 minutes of it was me talking about this book. So. And because I DNF'd this, I am unhauling The Rose and the Dagger because why would I read the second book if I didn't finish the first one? That would be silly. That means I get to take five, six, seven books off of my TBR. I read another book. I read, I also read Twisted Desire by Jesse Elliott, but it doesn't come off of my TBR because it wasn't on my TBR, it was an ARC. So I think my math is off, so let me double check my math. So that gets me to 93 books. I thought it was 92, but it's 93. I need to read about somewhere between 11 and a half, 12 books a month to get to my goal. <laughs> Do I think this is being effective? 
yes I do I do think that the that it's being effective in the sense that it is making me want to get to books that I have been putting off but I know that I have way too many books to get to honestly if I get to the end of the year and I'm not at 113 and I don't feel like there's anything that I really want to get rid of I may not it's only May we'll see what happens um, I have 16 books on my TBR for the month of May I don't know how many of those I'm going to get to, but if you've seen my May TBR, which should be up by now, I'll link it in the description box below, so it's in the cards. It is going to be... <laughs> it's going to be an interesting month, and it's going to be pretty cutthroat, and there should be 16 books taken off of my TBR by the end of this month, one way or another. So that is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book-related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays, and bonus videos on the weekends. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!